As COVID cases begin to climb once again here in Colorado and across the United States due to yet another subvariant of Omicron, there remain many unanswered questions about the evolution of this virus. Long COVID is the lingering effects of COVID for weeks, months, even years, and it's estimated that one in three people who recover from COVID are affected, although the severity of those symptoms may vary. Well, research has been underway in the U.S. since long COVID was first diagnosed, and the Veterans Administration was among the first to target the research to try and find answers and treatment for this puzzling condition. Yeah, basically, the biggest thing I was experiencing was... Justin Verholz works for the Mount Carmel Veterans Service Center in Pueblo. A veteran himself who served in Afghanistan, he was diagnosed with COVID last fall. I still noticed that, um, that my loss of smell still kind of hangs around. I don't think it's ever really fully come back. Um, so I deal with that. It's kind of frustrating, but um, I do get tired easy. Justin is one of an estimated 624,000 veterans or VA employees who contracted COVID the past two years. Sadly, nearly 22,000 have died. And 3.5% of those who have succumbed to COVID have died from related health conditions, roughly twice the rate of the American public. So the VA has set up 17 clinics across the country researching long COVID symptoms. Now this VA study will actually serve as an incubator of sorts for treatments and strategies moving forward as it relates to long-term COVID patients. It's also going to be a part of a wide-ranging National Institutes of Health study that is focusing on those with and without long-term COVID symptoms. In fact, they're recruiting about 40,000 people right now to study who are suffering from some of those symptoms, including brain fog, dizziness, fatigue, and pain. For Justin, whose job it is to direct support and services to our veterans in Southern Colorado, this is personal because he and so many others have questions about the impact on their life long term. It is vital and it makes um, to get in front of something like this and it, and it gives me some comfort that um, someone has already taken the initiative to dive into this so we can get the answers so we can be prepared. Among the people directly involved in overseeing research for the VA here in Colorado is Dr. Edward Janoff, who has worked with the VA for over 35 years and is here at the sprawling VA Center in Aurora, directly involved in the Cooperative Studies Program with the NIH, a collaboration to find answers to so many questions tied to the root cause of long COVID. You know, it could be, let's say, maybe vaccinating people after they got COVID lowers the the rates or the severity of long right. COVID, maybe hormonal manipulation, maybe immune suppression or immune activation. If COVID really lasted longer than we think, maybe the short term, you know, three to five day treatment we're giving people for COVID maybe should be longer or should be reinstituted in people with long COVID. While Colorado is not currently one of the 17 research sites across the VA network yet, there are studies that Dr. Janoff is overseeing here that will be a piece of the ultimate puzzle, since the VA has been instrumental in the care, education, and research for so many veterans for so long on a laundry list of debilitating diseases. Research is really required to have active and progressive and effective clinical care. So this kind of thing, looking at what's the mechanism of long COVID, if we can understand, is it hormonal, is it immunologic, you know, what, psychologic, you know, probably not, but, you know, that's probably a component all of those things are geared towards understanding it, and once we understand it, then we can try to think about interventions. As it stands right now, an estimated 4,300 patients across those 17 VA sites are a part of the study. From the 23,000 patients, the VA has confirmed as having long COVID symptoms. The Colorado VA facility has applied for long COVID clinical studies here which could begin in a matter of months. And frankly, the sooner the better, because more veterans are dying who contract COVID and have other underlying conditions. Our real primary goal is to prevent hospitalization, respiratory failure, and death. And people who have these underlying diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, age over 65, under, you know, heart, liver, lung right. uh, disease, those are people at worse outcome. 
Research is still emerging on multiple fronts. An executive order from the president will expand the $1 billion study underway at the NIH and the Department of Health and Human Services. The order will make long COVID care as accessible as possible, ensure that insurance coverage, both private and public, is available. UC Health, by the way, here in Colorado, has also received grant money to research long COVID. Rob Quirk, News 5.